you is you can see the little girl that's transparent there with the transparent background we're going to go through and import the original from photos now I've got that in Apple photos there she is there already done a little bit of work on that but I've left just the white background with the little girl in it so we need to crop that out now you've got all the crop tools don't worry about dragging the borders just touch in there and drag the crop out to cover the thing now I've got snapping to grids on snapping to edges so there's all we want down the bottom you can see unconstrained apply and cancel we want apply there's our little girl with the with the um, crop applied so that all we've got is the little girl in there now we want to get rid of the background so we need to go to selections the selection persona and the magic wand here is the flood tool selection so we've selected that just touch it anywhere in that outside the girl now you can see the little crawling ants are going around her there if you want to make sure that your image is selected correctly, refine it. Now you can see there are no funny borders there. This is a very clean border. So you just apply the refined trim and that's what we have. Now we need to invert the selection so that all we're left with is the girl. Go to the layers menu and the plus sign and put a mask layer over it. Uh, what did I just say? I just said we don't want to do that. What we've got to do is go, make sure that we've still got the persona selections, go up here and invert the selection. Silly mistake. Don't fall for the same mistake as I just did. The selection is inverted, so now it's the little girl that's selected, not the background. Now we can go to layers. Now we can go to a mask layer and apply a mask layer. There's the little girl selected, and there's no background. It's been removed. The background is transparent. So we've got to get rid of the crawling ants. That's going to there, to the... Um, menu bar there and deselect crawling ants are gone there's a nice little picture there with a transparent background you could use that nearly anywhere just to make sure we've got it we'll save a copy and we'll call it little girl number two why because I've got other versions of this get rid of the keyboard and click on save so now we can come back to that it's in I've saved it in a folder on the iCloud Drive called affinity photo click on save and there we go now what I want to do before I do anything else is go back there, go to there and save it, rename it, little girl 2. Now I know where to find it. It's in the working folder um, for Affinity Photo. You can see I've got a couple of other ones there. There's, there's that one, there's Edit Girls, there's Girl Crop. Um, very nice cartoon work. Now, come back to that, and there she is. You can go there, you can save a copy, or export. So I can export it to a PNG, export, save, little girl 2, the name is already there, save it, and there we go. Now, if you want to put it into Apple Photos, Go back to the export option, go to share and save image. That's the only one you need, save image. And that's just put it into my Apple Photos folder. 
and there you go. So draw yourself a sketch on on um, white printer paper, or well, indeed any paper for that matter, and flood fill the outside. If it's if it's got jaggy little edges, make sure you refine it so you can add and delete um, areas that get selected accidentally. Invert the invert the selection, apply a mask, and there's your finished product.